Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at C groups. So, what is a C group? Well, we have to answer what is a process first. So, a process is an instance of a running program on Linux. So, then what is a C group? Well, C group stands for control groups and allows you to group processes to apply different kinds of limitations. So, limitations could be things like resource limiting. So, groups can be set to not exceed a configured memory limit which also includes file system cache, prioritization, so some groups may get a larger share of CPU utilization or disk input output throughput, accounting, so measures a group's resources usage, which may be used for example, like billing purposes, control, so freezing groups of processes, uh, uh, so they're checkpointing and restarting. So think of C groups as a way to limit programs on Linux from overusing CPU memory storage um, and the reason we're learning about C groups is because of Linux containers. So the primary goal, uh, design goal of C groups was to provide a unified interface to manage processes or whole operating system level virtualizations, including Linux containers. And, um, you know, I came across C groups even recently when I was using Git pods because I wanted to run Kubernetes on Git pods, but I found out that uh, at the time and probably still that uh, they're using Docker with a version that is using C groups version one. And so to support uh, Kubernetes, the run within Docker, which is kind of weird running Docker inside Kubernetes to run Docker, um, uh, it needed version two. So C groups is something you definitely will come across. Uh, and so that's why uh, I mentioning it to you here.